Hey honey bunches, welcome back to another video. My name's Phoebe if I knew. This was fun, I made recipes, vegan recipes from the 80s. Um, I spied a, this Moose Wood cookbook on Etsy and bought it on a whim. It's not their first one, um, because that was in 74, but this is from the early 80s. Um, it's during their pescatarian phase. They've since become fully vegan. They're still running, I believe, and they're quite the institution um, in Ithaca in New York. But one of the first, you know, vegan vegetarian plays on the scene um, and it's been so interesting to read their recipes and see how they ran you know like a vegetarian predominantly joint back then um, and how they how they did it <laughs> because the one thing that seems quite obvious um, on reflection is that the you know vegan friendly equipment was few and far between not so much like high-powered motors in food processors and blenders to help chop heaps of vegetables like I can't imagine the amount of hand labor they must have done because gosh like usually it's just my um you know feet and legs that are ready for a major sit down after the end of a huge I mean I always overdo it like spread of making food that's how I like to roll it <laughs> um but after this my hands like all my limbs were so knackered um so much chopping and you know you have volume vegetables are voluminous that's what I'm trying to say and um yeah, chopping them and then cooking them you reduce them down and it doesn't look like there was so much uh, raw material to begin with but there was and um yeah obviously this served us like honestly we ate this food over like three days so there was heaps for three people um but yeah i just it, it's a lot of <laughs> a lot of plant matter anyway it was a joy to convert it lol um these buddha jewels you like mash up tofu in your hands then I was interested to make these because I'm like how do they stick together but um, you added in mushrooms I skipped the water chestnuts because I'm not a fan of them I think they had parsley and then peanut butter and tamari were the main gluing agents in these and then you made a little sauce with pineapple juice and tamari and brown sugar I think and then thickened it up with corn flour although I didn't have that so that's why it looked a bit runny in the end um, yeah they really worked then I decided to make these stuffed zucchinis which gosh I needed a better implement because this that job alone really hurts your hands especially when they're like um, you have sensitive skin but I'm always interested in stuffed vegetable recipes especially OG ones that claim to be delicious because I really think contemporary stuff like capsicum recipes these days taste like trash they're just not flavorful they taste like mushy cardboard and it's like where's the flavor these were super interesting I swapped out cream cheese and cheese for tofuti and just a melty pizza like uh, pizza topper cheese type thing had nutmeg flaked almonds so really dairy rich I think um, type of flavor profile yeah there's my face getting so exhausted because this took like four hours to do start to finish every recipe was very simple and quick to come together and they talk about that in the book that like they made everything fresh and like tried to get it out in 15 minutes um, but just you know first time and it was my one Phoebe ban to get it <laughs> on the table um, a while and there was a lot of different recipes again I know I overdid it but I like I like to go a bit overboard sometimes and put out a spread there's Merlin like are you coming because yeah we got this on the table a bit later than usual so our entree was the soup which oh, adding pesto to a broth with veggies and beans is such a simple thing I'm gonna be remembering going forward tastes so good I thought it'd be a bit too pesto-y but turns out that's not a thing um, then for entree we also had the Buddha jewels and they were just so good a totally different flavor profile to the pesto soup which was a bit weird but um so delicious and they held together really well then we had everything else for the main course um that pasta salad no let's talk about the zucchinis first so you put a bit of water in the bottom to steam them and then i put them under the grill because i'm like these need a bit of golden color as opposed to being 50 shades of beige um but yeah that actually worked i did pour out a bit of the water at the bottom but they weren't like sopping or anything um, it really tenderly cooked the zucchini so it was very non-offensive and creamy and tender already said that and then the topping was so like festive with the nutmeg cheesiness very rich but definitely the most delicious stuffed um, vegan vegetable recipe I've had then that charred broccoli salad with mushrooms and ca uh, cashews and a vinegary mayo dressing it was heaven tomatoes uh, no the carrot salad was great what's not to love about that and then 
Um, the only thing I probably wouldn't make again is the tomato artichoke tarragon salad, only because they claim tinned artichokes are like a hoot and I was thinking mm, I don't know maybe they were different in the 80s didn't really convince me but overall everything was absolutely delicious incredible very tiring to make but um yeah I guess praise be for living in a time with kitchen gadgets and I'll be definitely making more recipes from this cookbook this exercise proved that even photo less recipe books can be a bloomin hoot thanks for watching honey bunches bye